Cal from Carl's Crafts. Welcome back if you've been before and hi if this is your first time, welcome. This is my whip and chat for the week, which is a work in progress. I've got my candle lit for anybody that needs prayers, thoughts or positivity. That is lit for you. I'm still working on my Bubble Bubble Chocolate Trouble by Randall Spangler and I got this from Diamond Art Club. I'm doing this with Sandra from Autistic Perspective and Crafty Connoisseur. I think that's right. I have my Halloween pumpkin and ghost and what else has it got? Bat on it. Minder. I've got my Whip Wax, the Evil Queen. I thought that's quite appropriate, so I'm going to use that. I've got my tray that I got from paint, Painting with Diamonds. That one. So I've got that one. Let's move you over a bit more. There we go. So you can see a bit more of the picture. Yeah. That's better. You can see more of the picture now. Rather than my computer over there. Yeah. So we're going to finish the bottom layer. So we're going to go on to this one now. So I've got all junky. I have got a drink of juice just in case. So I'm going to refill this one with that one. Well, I'm going to see if we can fill it. If I can't fill it, then I'll go back to some... Because um, I've got some Diamond Art Club wax in there if I need it. So we'll just clean it out. So I just use a pin. That's all I use. Can you see if I'm doing it there? Yeah. I just take out what I can and I put it in my little tray. And I get as much as I can of it out. It is, what is it, eight o'clock at night, so it's quite dark here. Well, it is pitch black outside. And the clocks go back tonight. So, uh, it will get darker earlier, which I don't like, but hey ho, needs must as they say. So, so tomorrow I will be on, because I don't think in America that their clocks go back tomorrow, tonight. So, I might miss an hour. I don't know. I should have said something last week, shouldn't I? But I forgot. So all I'm doing is scraping the wax in and then pushing it on my table into that doodah. Okay, and I put it in back in my little bag and then out the way. So what should we do first, guys? Uh, um, we'll do some green arrows, I think. I'll just look up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down until I can find it. I should just look at the chart, shouldn't I? Number 27, that would be easier. Uh, because they're in front of me, though. I just think oh, I'll just I'll just look through there. Just look at the chart. Just look at the chart, woman. Let me just move that up a bit more. That's it. So the only thing with this tray, if you do dark colours in it, it's hard to see. See them. So I might have to swap if I into my shiny shazza one. In the lineup, lovely. I just can't see them very well. In this one, I have got um, a rainbow one, which Millie nicked. So I shouldn't say I've got it, I should say Millie's got the rainbow one. And I think I've got an, another light one somewhere. I think. Don't hold me to that. So. Yeah, so how's everybody's week been going? 
We've had atrocious weather this week. Oh my God, has it rained and rained and wind and storms and rain and wind and storms and it's just been one thing after another. You want to go out now? Go on now. Ready, Daddy, then? The animals. Oh my God, Johnny's scatting. That was Lily, the dog, wanting to go out. So I said, she was sat on the camel phone and I said, do you want to go out now before I shut the door and start my life? She would I tried to move her, she wouldn't move. The black and white cat Molly is sat on the end of the counter just looking at the door. So I thought she wants to go out. No, she just wants to sit there looking at the door. And that was Lily that wanted to go out. As soon as you start, she wants to go out. I can't see in that. Sorry guys, I'm going to have to swap back to my shiny shazza. I can't see. I can't see these dark ones. I've had to move the camera. I moved the camera over to this side. Usually it's that side. For some reason I decided I'd try it over this side. But it's putting a little bit of a shadow on and I think that's my problem. So if I can't work this way, I might have to stop and reset up the camera. I think. Because I am struggling with the shadow of it going on my tray yeah I'm gonna have to stop hang on guys wow that is so much better I can actually see my drills now and it's surprising it just that little bit of a shadow just knocked it all about and I couldn't see anything I mean it is dark in here tonight I don't know why <clears throat> I've worked at you. Oh, phone now. Can you believe it? You always know the phone's going to go. Don't you? That was my son. Bless him. He's got um chest infection. Yeah, he sounds really, really rough. Bless him. So I uh, had a little chat with him. But yeah, he does sound really poorly. I told him if it gets... Um, he's not having the antibiotics, so I said to see how he gets on. If he doesn't cope, then he's going to have to go and get something. He does say he sounds a little bit better today than he did yesterday. Um, he said his girlfriend's looking after him, so... And she's really good, so I can't... She'd phone me if there was anything dire wrong, so... And he's had all his jabs and stuff, so even though he's coughing and spluttering, it is just a chest infection by the sound of it. Because he's not, he's been tested for his work for a, the old buggy bug bug. But, um, yeah, bless him. But it was nice having a chat with him. I think he said he wants to come home in first weekend of December just for that weekend because there's a Christmas market start so he wants to go to the Cardiff one which is about an hour and three quarters away two hours something like that in the opposite direction so then where he's coming from so I said yeah it'd be lovely to have you so he thinks he might be home for Christmas and then away for New Year so I said, whatever you and Vicky decide is fine by us, but just, you know, let us know so we can sleep in arrangements and food and all that stuff. I can make sure that I've got sorted. So. Oh, yeah. That's probably my son again now. Yeah. Yeah, just hang on, guys. Children. I don't like it when they're this far away and they're not well. I'm like, I'm under my roof. So 
so I know where he is, how he is, what he's doing. If you know what I mean. Right, that's gone, that's gone, that's gone. Right. Oh, kids would be the worry of you, don't they? Jessie's out somewhere. Eight o'clock at night, but she's staying at friends, she says. And I said, are you coming home for clothes? Don't know. Millie's just had her friend Harvey over, so he's just gone back on the bus. I went and picked her up because they walked up to the bus and then I went and picked her, picked her up. I said, you're not walking on your own. Jessie's with about five friends, so I know she's all right. And I know the person that she's staying with, so. She said she might borrow the, the girls, some of the girls' clothes. So I said, that's up to you. I can remember doing that at that age. End up staying at somebody's house. Borrowing whatever you needed. So you didn't have to come home. So they're growing up so quick. It's a different kind of worry then, isn't it? It is. Thought we had somebody yelling then. Did anybody do the 24 hour of cross stitch? I had a go. And as I said in my notes in my floss tube yesterday, I did four hours, 37 minutes, which I was quite pleased with. And I married 798 stitches, which I don't think is bad. So I did it on with two projects, the Peruvian um, flare, what's it called? Mirrored cats, I think it's called which I love and I did a oh, Christmas tree sale that I'm doing with everybody I did both of them so I was quite pleased with that I thought that wasn't a bad effort for me I probably could have done a little bit better oh, there's another one there but you know the way I haven't done any sort of stitching for a long time so I think that's like 15 I think something like 1500 stitches in two weeks which is more than I've probably done in three months oh gosh another two there so I'm chuffed with it just have to get some motivation to do a little bit this week but I don't know I don't think that's going to happen this week with everything that's going on Oh. You know when you write bits down to jog your memory? I wrote a scrawl <laughs> and read my own writing. Uh, I don't know why I bother. I don't know why we bother Molly, innit? Kids have been off all week, so go back Monday. Jessie's been out most days. She's been, she's, um, been riding Joshua's bike. He's got a big, huge um, off-road, on-road bike. One of these, I don't know, the super duper thing that does all sorts of off-road and on-road. And um, well, her bike's way too small for now because she's so tall. So his bike's the right height, but she went out with his seat on, and mm, yeah, she had uh, what do they call it? Saddle thing. So she's taken, that Grant's taken the seat off her old bike and put that on a new bike. She said it's a little bit better, but she's still sad also. So. so I said, we'll look into seeing what kind of seats are out there for her. But she did, I think she said, was it a 14 mile? 
they went and ended up doing on bikes. It was something really astronomical. But they called it her friend's um, grandma's, her man and these, and had um, Ribena and a toast. And it was proper toast because it was proper bread, Mum, and it had proper butter on it. <laughs> well salted buttered, so she loved that. So I said, well, we've got, we do have proper bread here occasionally, and we have got salted butter, but it's not the same. It's not the same. But her friend's mum's got, her nan's got one of the old-fashioned Rayburns and things, so it's done the old way. And you can't beat it. It does taste nice that way. So she said that it's full of energy, so they went off then round here, there and everywhere on their bikes. But Jessie was showing me her guns today, she calls them. Fair play to her, she has got some arm muscle on her. She put many boys to shame, because she boxes and uh, she's got one of them boxing bags outside, you know, that you hang from the ceiling. Grant's hung it from some beams outside he's made. And she's out there on and off boxing. Plus she does a load of exercises, sit-ups and I don't know what in her room and weights. And As you can see, she's got some guns on her, fair play. And Millie's, Millie hasn't been, I don't think Millie's been out apart from coming to the supermarket. Which I think was only once this week. Millie's a homebody. She like me, likes to stay home. She did go up to Tesco's with Harvey. They bought themselves a, a, a cake, literally a cake, but tray ca tray bake thing, cake thing. They went arms on it. <laughs> it was cheaper to get that than it was to get a little bit of uh, cookies or something. So they got that because it was on offer. Oh, it make me laugh them too. And they're both as oh, goes just knocked that, sorry. And they're both as skinny as skinny can be. No meat on either of them. What colour shall we do next? Should we do that one with the line through it? Whoa. We come out the lid. Poor old Lily, she's not very well again. Not a not a stomach actually this time. I think she's got an ear infection. So uh, she's been flapping her head and scratting. So I've started cleaning it out with salted water. So it's not started. Yes, it doesn't look as red today. But I said if it's no better monthly, she'll phone the vet. She's got. I got to phone the vets anyway for a jab. She's due for a jabs in the next week or so. So. I'm not, I said to Grant, I said I can't afford to take her on the weekend because it would cost me a hundred and something before we even got seen, do you know what I mean? So, she's happy in herself, she's still running riot here and eating like a pig, so. And she's not crying with it, she does, as I say, she's a little bit of a head shake and it's a bit red. So I'm cleaning, giving it a good clean with salted water, but not, you know, not pressing like the vet showed me the last time she had an ear infection. So I thought, well, I'll do all that first and see how we get on. And if it's no better by Monday, then I know she needs antibiotics or something. Oh, the drops are expensive. But yeah, she still wrecked the bed when we changed the bed and everything and wrecked the cushions and... Still up to no good. I can hear her outside the door pushing on the door now. She likes all the doors to be open to, to come come and go. And she likes you to be in bed no later than half past nine at a push. She sits across the table when I'm working because I've been working this week till from ten in the morning till ten at night on my Etsy stuff. I do Etsy stuff and do all the house as well in between and kids and so I stop been stopping about 10 o'clock and she's been getting in hell of a fret with me because she doesn't settle until I'm in bed and she keeps coming opposite the table where I work sitting on the chair and just staring at me and then staring at the, at the door when's was it Wednesday or Thursday night she was actually woofing at me to move I said, nope, I said, I've got to do this. When I've done this bit, 
I said I can come up to bed. She's so funny. I said you're worse than the kids. Worse than the kids she is. Oops. I can hear a pacing. So is everybody ready for Halloween tomorrow? I bought a few bags of sweets. I'm going to leave the outside light on. Um, till either I run out of sweets or till about quarter to eight before my live. So I've got time to set up and then all the lights will go off and I'll pull my blind kitchen blind down so they can't see because it's a blackout blind because I know well, they probably still bloody knock they usually do even when the house is in complete darkness when I run out of sweets last year I think about I don't know nearly 100 kids came again last year and it's like so I was scramming for like packets of crisps and god knows what and then I'd run out of all that so it would literally just turn everything <laughs> off as if we weren't here but they were still banging it couldn't answer like because I had nothing to give them. So yeah, lights will be out by 7.15. Millie's got her friend coming over. They're going to stay in and watch films. Jessie's going out with a couple of her friends and they're going to be back. I said as long as you're back by about 8. So... I said that's fine. Grant's not here till I don't know what time he'll get back because he's going up to his dad's tomorrow to see how he's doing. So yeah, it's going to be a strange day tomorrow. And I have been thinking whether to start making I'm practicing, I always say practicing, although I do it every year, doing my sausage roll, my Christmas sausage rolls, with the sausage meat and everything in it and the mustard and stuff. I think I should start making them, you know, get into the good practice swing and maybe making the homemade mince pies as well. What do you think, guys? Do you think it's too early? If you don't know what I mean about my sausage rolls, I've got a video on how I make my home my own sausage rolls with sausage meat and stuff. I do cheat in the video and use um, ready made pastry because I'm crap at making pastry. My mum used to make homemade pastry with them, but my hands, no. My pastry always turns out horrible. So I buy the ready made now. And then I do the make the stuff in and oh sausage meat and mm, 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 so easy and quick and tasty and trouble is though you you make them you have one you want another one another one and another one and then the mince pies i make you have one with your cuppa and then you want another one with your cuppa and then it's like oh my god before you know it they're gone so i'm thinking should i make Make some, and I haven't made my Christmas and cake recipe cake for ages. I usually make that, although I don't put any alcohol in it anymore. I just make make it without the alcohol, as they say. And I haven't done that. Usually, I make it a couple of times a year because Grant absolutely loves it, and I do as well. But I haven't made it for a long time, so I might have to get the recipe out for that as well because it's going to be November isn't it Monday so what is it seven eight eight weeks is it till Christmas something like that be here before you know it and I've bought absolutely nothing well I tell a lie bought something off Yolanda Katie's mama of two off her Etsy store and that's it I told the girls that they won't be getting much and Josh be little things they're fine about it so yeah I went to see mum on Wednesday as well that was 
was hard going but she did smile quite a few times she was in bed the whole time but Jessie came with us again she wanted to see a nana um, and then we went for a McDonald's after because I was gagging for a cuppa I got some chicken nuggets then so I had a couple of them and then I bring the rest home Millie has them and the dog has one to say sorry for leaving her behind but I have said she can come next time and I've said to the house that I'll probably bring her the home where mum is I'll probably bring Lily and they they're like yeah whatever they know Lily's good so and she just lies by the side of mum she don't move she doesn't bark or anything you know with her cute face like as well Yeah, I haven't really. As I say, I've been busy doing my Etsy store I've made, which are up now, the stuff that I made. Um, I made a few yarn bags. I've got I had some lovely fat quarters of sunflowers. So um, I managed to make two medium sort of size, nice size, um, yarn bags they would hold probably a skein and maybe a couple of mini skeins in it i think it's eight and a half by six and a half for the four inch base so i made two sunflower then i made um snowflake one of it blue snowflake one and then a bigger one in the snowflake yarn bags i really like them and then I made a load of notions, Christmas notions, snowflakes and Father Christmas ones. And then two, four, two of the, two of the um, Father Christmas and Christmas tree, uh, 13 by 10. Um, dog's barking, sorry. 13 by 10 vinyl project bags. They'll hold an 8 by 8 key snap. So I made two of the Father Christmas and Christmas tree and I think they've got deer on them and two of the snowflake ones. With them as well. I think it was nine nine different patterns that I did all together, but 16 in total, which took me all week. You, I tell you, Grant was like, God, I can't believe by the time you've cut it all out and ironed it. Measured it, ironed it, cut it out. I said, then sewn all the zips on. Then you have to do the ironing again for the vinyls and stuff. And then sew it. And he was like, wow, I can't believe. The ironing took me forever as well. The first lot, not on the second lot. But they're done so Monday we'll start doing some other fabric ones I think got some nice floral stuff in that I like so I sold one that I made and I really like it so I think I'm gonna make another one of those and I found some other floral material that I quite like so I might make some more in that make some more. I haven't made a make some in that one because I like that so that's all being well anyway so I have my plan this week is to do a bit more in the Etsy I photographed them this afternoon and loaded them that took me all day today to do that I'm just doing you know washing drying cooking sweeping went to Tesco's and back in between but I got them done this is a lot you have to I try to do videos with each one as well now so this apparently it's, you do better if you do a little video 15 second video how the product works so I did that as well as you know I try and do a minimum of three photos if I can per item I'd like to do about five, if I can, different ways and uses of it. But 
find a new way of um, photographing because I've been doing it on the floor, which kills my bloody knees. But I pin, pin the material now up on the wall, up onto a unit, and drape it down, and then get my lights and put the light there, and I think they're all right. And of course, you have to write all the thinking guff. You have to write with it, which is all right. Kept me out of mischief with nothing else. I don't know why. It feels a bit like a Sunday today, and I don't know why. Because if it was, I'd be on my live. Just one of those days. I don't know whether it's because it's, I don't know. Very odd day today. I did sand out the background with some working at the back and I was took him a cup of tea and then I was leaning on top of the recycling bin the sun was shining down oh because it was in a shaded spot it was it was like a summer's day oh it was gorgeous I just didn't want to move Grant said are you all right I said yeah I'm just enjoying the bit of sun he said you can come out and sit out here if you want I said nope I said it's bloody freezing out here I said and I said I can't sit on top of the blue cycling so that's the only warm place in the garden so cold, we've had to have the heating on today, so that's how cold it's been. The trouble is it's it's like in between cold. It's cold where you want to put the heating on for a while, and then if it's heating's on for too long, you get over hot. It's the in between, isn't it? As I call it. Yeah, Lily's due to have her hair cut on Thursday and then she'll have one then be just before Christmas. So I'm trying to keep on top of it. I don't want it to get matted. Because you can't, you can see, t although I brush her, but I tend to miss them because their fur is so curly. You think you're pulling it through and, it, and it's um, got no pugs in it, but... The underneath tends to pug away, as they say. So I'm trying to keep on top of her now. So I thought if I just keep going and just having a trim rather than a real dramatic cut back and sides because she's all, she's got some knots in her. You see, I think it will work better for her. So I'm trying to keep it at every six weeks, six, seven weeks at the most before getting a cut and her toenails and everything done. Because I can't do her toenails because they're so, you can't see where the crick is on them because they're so dark. And I'd just be petrified that I'd cut her, cut her. It would absolutely smear, scare the pants off me. So I'm not going to do it she has to do it there and then so when she goes which I think is fair enough you know it's all included anyway in the price from what I can gather so yeah pup paps we've got to the groomers on Thursday so yeah so that's about all I've got to tell you So let me know what you're going to be doing in the next week or so, or what you have been up to. I'd love to hear. Leave it down in the description box down below. Or all my other social medias down there if you want to contact me another way for a chat, that's fine. My live's on a Sunday, so if you want to join in on that. So with that said, I'm going to love you and leave you. Look after yourselves, take care, and most importantly, stay safe. Bye for now. Love you all.